Hello YouTube, it's Derek and Peter. Hi. Yeah, from Dev Mentors. Uh, quite unusual because uh, yeah, after after a decision, we kind of now record uh, in, separately. But yeah, today is a day in which we are standing in front of you together, and there's of course a reason for that, right? Yeah, we've just finished recording brand new material for a brand new course. Yes, exactly. Uh, to be honest, you kind of suggested this in a certain ways, uh, saying that our materials are good, you, you like them, which we like truly appreciate. However, some of them are, I would say, maybe too advanced for you. You are more rather on the beginning of the your programming career and some of the concepts may not be just for you yet. And we decided to create the material, the whole course for, I would say, less experienced developers to just guide you through certain different topics. Exactly. And in this course, we tackle two specific things. So the first thing is that this will be a web API related course, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll yes. tackle the latest version of ASP.NET Core, its features, and how to build, let's say, a proper web API with nice layers, nice responsibilities yes. and all that stuff by following the good patterns and principles. But there is more to that. And there is also the second part of the course, which is very equally important or even more important yeah. than just building another web API. Yes, uh, I mean, you you might like seen, you might have seen like tons of different materials regarding the ASP.NET Core itself and what capabilities it brings you. And of course, it's, it's great mat great st stuff and great kind of materials for those who really just look into the specifics of the of the framework itself. However, what we uh, kind of remember even from our first years of, of, of our careers is that there is uh, at the very beginning when you start programming, there is not much understanding about certain decisions. So it's like I'm reading the documentation and maybe I'm not quite sure why I should do this. I just like trust that this is the right approach without, I would say, fully understanding the certain concepts. So the whole idea about this course is not, it's not going to be yet another web API tutorial, but we want to combine this with certain good practices, uh, reasoning, um, tons of, I would say, refactoring. So we not always will choose the right approach at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. We may intentionally push you into something more uh, that at first glance, may look as a right solution, but eventually you will see that if you will not follow those good practices, sooner or later, they will just hunt you down. Yeah, uh, it's also all about sometimes feeling the pain and feeling the consequences of, let's say, mm -hmm. poor decisions, which sometimes might might be, you know, just an implication of lack of knowledge, actually. And this is what we want to also show in this course. How do you start with small, simple things and how can you refactor them into the, with, let's say, well-defined models with the proper boundaries by following the solid and other design principles. But in order to achieve this, you need to at first understand why these concepts have been introduced yeah. in the first place. And you sometimes need to feel a bit of this pain, how your application would look like if you were just to stick, for example, to this big anemic models being spread everywhere in your code. Yes. So. Long story short, this is not going to be only about the ASP.NET Core. We focus on the principles, good practices, design patterns, etc. And then we incorporate certain features from ASP.NET Core to show you how we can achieve certain things. Uh, so hopefully after watching this whole course, you will not going to have this impression that, okay, the ASP.NET Core is, is a co cool framework, but eventually if I will switch to an another technology, I might start from the very beginning. Hopefully you will learn a lot of new concepts, which will just make you a better developer and knowing the features from the platform will be just an addition to that. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, so this is the, I would say the, the intention. And uh, I guess that since we are now recording this after, after recording the outro for this course, we are not certainly sure how much this will take, but my guess is that at, well, le at least 20 hours. I yeah, think 20 hours would 20 be the bare 25 It hours. could be even more, yeah. Yeah, so it's quite a lot of material, as you can see. Yeah. Uh, even our, I would say that it's more than all other, our two mini courses put together with all the feeder series. It's more than microservices course, yeah, I yeah. believe, so. So, so this, 
there's quite a lot of knowledge in there and hopefully for those less experienced developers this will be some sort of alternative and eventually once we'll finish it all the materials that we put here on the youtube will start to make more and more sense mm -hmm. so i think that that's pretty much pretty much it right yeah that's pretty much it we don't, we don't know where this will be actually published probably yeah we'll we'll see Let, let's just say coming soon yeah. I mean, rather sooner than later, so coming soon, right? Yes, coming soon, of course. Uh, you can just subscribe our channel or uh, join our Discord community yeah. or our Instagram because we might put some additional information regarding this specific course from time to time. So you'll just be notified. And of course, once we the, will know the exact date of the premiere, we'll let you know uh, probably in here on the and on the social media. So yeah, that's it. Stay tuned. And we'll see you soon in the next videos and in this new course. Yeah. See ya. Bye.